What's up guys, Sal here. So usually Samsung launches its Galaxy S series phone in February and Note series phone in August. But that may not be the case with the Galaxy S21. If you've noticed, the Galaxy S21 has been making a lot of headlines as of late. I mean, it's only October and we know quite a lot about the handset. And there is a reason for that. It's because of Samsung's plan of accelerating its traditional mass production schedule of the Galaxy S21 lineup. South Korean media says Samsung has told their part suppliers to mass produce the components for the Galaxy S21 next month. This means the S21 part suppliers will start shipping components to Samsung six weeks before their usual time frame. Now, because of this, a lot of people are saying that Samsung will launch the Galaxy S21 as soon as December, which I don't think will happen but instead Samsung will launch the Galaxy S21 in January, early January to be exact. That's according to Sam Mobile from their sources in Asia. The Galaxy S20 was launched on the 11th of February this year, so this means they're gonna prepone the launch of the Galaxy S21 by a month. Some of you might say that we hear this every single year before the launch of the S series flagship, but it doesn't happen. True, but this time multiple sources are saying the same thing, so this definitely has more credence than before. Now, as to why Samsung is doing it, there are many reasons. Tiem Ro, who as you know is the new head of Samsung's mobile division, likes to do things differently. He said Samsung will launch the fan edition every year from now on, so they could be doing this to keep some space between the S21 and the fan edition. But South Korean media says Samsung is doing it to take advantage of Huawei's absence. As you know, Huawei is having trouble procuring the latest processor chips now because of the US sanctions and they couldn't make enough Mate 40 handsets to meet demand. So Samsung is taking advantage of it and could try and carve as much as market share from Huawei as possible. In any case, things are definitely moving much faster for the S21 this time around and it's more than likely we'll see them launch it as soon as early January. A fruit company has decided to not include a charger in the box, but thankfully things aren't bad at the Android side, at least for now. Recently, a new Samsung charger was certified, raising the speculation that the Galaxy S21 Ultra could land with a 65W charger that could top up the 5000mAh battery in less than an hour. If you remember, I said to not expect this to be bundled with the Galaxy S21, and turns out that's exactly the case. A new certification today reveals that the Galaxy S21 will ship with the good old 25W charger. Now, it's possible the Galaxy S21 Ultra might only be the S21 handset to get the 65 watt charger but then again i don't think it will happen either but it's totally possible samsung might sell this charger separately like the 45 watt one that they sell now but in any case 25 watts in the box is way better than having none of course with that being said let me know what do you think about this down in the comments and as always i'll see you tomorrow peace out